Okay, this is my review for the Randomizer Classic. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, this is Zelda Classic Randomizer. It randomizes Zelda Classic. <laughs> well, I have to be a little bit more specific. Pretty much take the first quest and the second quest and probably three other quests, smash them together into two overworlds, a light and a dark world, and you have yourself a massively huge... 45, I think it's 45 in the classic, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it should be 45 in the classic, maybe there was 50 there, I'm not sure. But you have a lot of dungeons to do, and there's so much to do. But the question is, what's so great about that? I'll tell you. Everything is randomized, all the items. Yes, you might walk into the place where you get your sword, you might find the wand there. And then the rest is history, there, it's just... Different ways of playing this. Now, this is on the classic version. I'll try to do, try to be as clear in the other version as well. Classic version, it's the one we got at the start. Now, again, randomized stuff ha wasn't new to me. I had been watching people do the Pokemon randomizer, which looked pretty interesting. And then I had first-hand experience a couple months earlier with the Super Metroid randomizer, which basically randomizes all the expansions and then all the item upgrades in different locations. And it makes for a really different experience. Now, it's not very much different in Zelda Classic, except for the fact that it's a lot longer, because there's 45 to 50 levels. I'm not sure how much the Classic version has now. I know that I know like the last five levels were introduced later. But yeah, all the items are randomized. Yes, I kid you not. And there are options you can set, like have, having all the heart containers come before level 9, having level 9 items not be exclusive to level 9 if you don't want them to be, uh, having all the swords be in the overworld or not, which we I, on my current run on the modern version I have it set to not because that's more fun. Uh, there's, there's just plenty of available options for you to set, and there's a plenty of items to go looking for. Um... I can't really find much bad with this quest. I guess the only downsides are it can be get, it can, with 45 levels or so, it can get confusing on which ones you have and have not completed yet. If you're going for 100%, uh, it can get a little confusing. But if you take note of where everything is, <laughs> you should be fine. And just double check and whatnot. It uh, should tell you how many items you've got at the end of the quest. I've only gotten to the end of the Randomizer Classic twice, I think. And I think the second time is when I showed that. I'm not sure, though. But, uh... Really... Um, uh, well, I don't prefer... I prefer the modern over the Classic version. This doesn't mean the Classic version isn't good. It is actually really... Really, really... See, my, I'm all scared of when I come to these reviews. It's like, spread out in different directions. I can't really think of anything bad to say about these. It's I can spend many, many hours playing this and playing it again and again. And I guess if there's one thing, one improvement I would recommend that this should have is that an ability to have a seed, you know, enter a seed and then have it randomized like that. That would make that would make it a whole lot easier for multiplayer doing it, as in multiple people doing the same randomization. Right now, as it stands, unless you added something when you released this, which I, I don't think you did, but if you did, that would be awesome. Um, right now, you pretty much gotta randomize it, then copy your zc.save and some other file that I can't remember that uh, I should have done before, but I didn't do right correctly, and send it to them, and then you have the right same seed. And that's currently the only best way of doing it. But having a... Having, being able to select a seed would be amazing. So, um... There's... I have more to talk about, but that continues in the modern version, because there's more... There's, there's a bit more in that. So... I can't really give this anything less than a 5. I've really been having a lot of fun playing the randomizer. Especially when I played the classic back, in, back when it first came out. And... Seriously... If you have not tried the randomizer, you really ought to give it a try, because it really changes the way that the Zelda Classic original quest and second quest and whatever else really plays out, because you can go a long time without finding a good sword. I mean, on my current modern run, what I should, actually, you know what, I'll, I'll get to that in the other video. <laughs> really? It's just a lot of fun. You just... Like I know, okay. Well, uh, one of my one of my last classic runs, I got the wand and the wand two, but with the wooden sword. The wand two basically is a magic sword that's stabby, stabby. You just have to generate. 
you have to pretty much just generate your own kind of plan to getting through these levels because you you don't know what I'm going to find. You can find all your swords later on in the game for all you know. Although there are certain places where you can find the first sword, like three of them at least, so you're not screwed over completely. And then all the required items are usually found, found towards the beginning, so you're not also messed up. Like the whistle and stuff, you'll find that earlier on. Because I know like later levels will start to need the ladder and stuff like that. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff to find. That's what makes this game really good, and really, it gets a rating of 5 out of 5, because really, it's just hours and hours and hours of fun. And that will do it.